Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series on Selenium in Python. Now for those of you that don't know what Selenium is, this is a framework that allows us to interact with HTML elements from any website. So rather than just scraping information, which we can do with Selenium, we can grab information from web pages, we can also interact with it. So we could in theory make things like bots, we can have, you know, uh, like an automated script that goes through and tests different aspects of our website. It's actually quite useful and it's pretty easy to get set up, which we're going to be doing in this video. So some common examples of things you could do with Selenium, uh, just basic movements is like drag and drop, clicking a button, filling in a form, uh, entering something in a search field, grabbing data from some specific tags finding elements in the source code, reading the entire page source code, pretty much anything you want to do with a web page, you can automate that with this Python Selenium stuff, the scripting, which I'm going to be showing you, which I think is pretty cool. So we need to get into the setup here. I will say first, if you guys do appreciate this type of content, consider becoming channel members by hitting the join button. Uh, that is, should be beside my channel name. There's a little promo there that tells you about what you get if you decide to become a channel member, but I definitely do appreciate the support. So with that being said, let's get into the setup. Now, the first thing we actually need to do is we need to install Selenium. So I'm going to assume you have Python installed. For those of you that are asking me, this is a subline text window. Uh, this is just a code editor. It's a way that we can write Python code. You don't have to use it. You can use the standard IDLE that I sh assume most of you probably have. But what we need to do is make sure we have Python installed, some version of that. And then we need to get pip working, which I'll talk about in a second, install the Selenium module, and then install what I'm going to call the Chrome web driver. And I'll talk about that more when we get to it. But the first step is to get pip working. So pip stands for package installer Python. And many of the popular Python modules are installed and kind of configured throughout that or through pip. Now pip is installed and comes by default with a Python installation. So you do have pip on your computer. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky though and not work properly or you can't access it. So I'm going to go through those mistakes uh, quickly. But first, if you're on Windows, open up a command prompt window. If you're on Mac or Linux, open up your terminal window. And if you're on Windows, you're going to type pip and hit enter. If you're on Linux or Mac, you're going to type pip3 and hit enter. It may be pip, it might be pip3. Try both of them uh, if you're on Mac or Linux. But the idea is that we hopefully want to get some output that looks something like this. It doesn't have to be identical, but something like usage, pip, command, options. You just don't want to get this error. Pip3 is not recognized as an internal or external command. So if one of these two work for you, pip or pip3, good, pretty much ready to go. If neither of them work on Mac, Linux, Windows, whatever, then you're going to need to configure pip and make sure that that's set up properly on your system. Now, some of the common reasons for this, it's not on the system path. That's why you can't access it. You do have pip, you just can't find where it is. So I have a video called how to install Pygame. This teaches you how to fix pip, uh, all the common issues with it. There will be a card and a link in the description. Click that, make sure your pip is working, and then come back here and start following along. So once pip is working, we have everything good. All we're going to do is in our terminal or command prompt window, type pip install selenium. Now, keep in mind, if I could spell this correctly, so pip install selenium, that if you're working in a virtual environment, you're going to have to make sure it's installed in that virtual environment. I assume you guys know how to configure that if you are using a virtual environment. But for most of us, it's just going to be pip install selenium. And assuming that works fine, we're ready to go. Selenium is installed. Now it's just time to get the web driver. So again, make sure this works. We can test if this is working by going into our Python window or Python script and typing Selenium. So import Selenium. If we run that and we don't get any errors, then we're good to go. Um, you know, the program is fine. If you do get an error, then you got to make sure that you have this package installed in the right Python interpreter, which is a common error that I can't really go over here because that's a whole video on its own. But anyways, once Selenium is up and running, I'm going to assume you guys are at that stage now, we're actually going to have to go to this website, which you can see I have here, and it's going to be in the description to download the Chrome web driver. So for this tutorial series, I'm going to be using Google Chrome as our main interface, the thing we're going to be working with. I would highly recommend you follow along using Google Chrome. So that's going to mean download the Google Chrome browser if you don't have it and then come to this web page, which there'll be a link to in the description. And we need to download the Chrome web driver associated with our Google Chrome installation. So these are two different things. The Chrome browser is different than the Chrome web driver. You need both of them for this to work. So first Chrome, second browser uh, or driver, sorry. So what we need to do is figure out what version of Google Chrome we're using and then download the appropriate web driver version. 
So to find that out, if you go to Google Chrome, you can hit these little dots at the top right hand corner, go to help and then about Google Chrome, and it will show you right here if your Chrome is up to date and what version it is. You guys are most likely the same version as me, but you may be a different version. Find that number and then download the correct version from this page. So you can see that it says if you're using 81, download this. So we'll download 81. But if you're using an older version, you can scroll down and they have the older versions here. So 79, 78, all of that. It's probably worth it just to update to 81 or 83, but it's not a huge deal. So click that link and then you'll see that there's three or I guess four files here and you're going to download the one corresponding to your operating system. So in this case, we'll do Win32. So download that. This is going to be a zip folder. I'm going to put this in my downloads folder. Notice I already have that downloaded. It shouldn't take very long. And once we have that downloaded, so you've moved past that stage, you found the right version, we need to extract that and place that in a specific location on our operating system. So make sure you guys are following along here. This is important. Uh, this is going to hopefully save you a few headaches and some Selenium errors. Extract this file. So just double click into it if you're on Windows, you know, uncompress on Mac, whatever it is you need to do, and copy this file. So I'm going to do Control C, or actually Control X, because I'm just going to cut it out of there. But copy this file on your clipboard, because we're about to move it to an easier location to access. So I'm going to go to a local dot, uh, C drive here. So local disk C drive. You can get that from going to this PC local disk C drive if you have it there. And all I'm going to do is go into program files x86 and paste this file in. In fact, you can see I already have it here, but for you guys, that's where I would recommend you place this. Now, what we're doing right now is picking the location that we want this file to live in. So where we want Chrome driver to sit. So you can place this anywhere you want. Just make sure you know where you place it so that we can access that location because we're going to have to reference the path to that file. So the path to the file can be found by simply hitting the bar up here. You just click on it and then copy what's here. So in this case, C drive program files x86. I'm going to copy that because that's where I place my Chrome driver. And now I'm going to go in my Python file. I'm going to say path equals this like that. So the idea is take that Chrome uh, file, place it somewhere on your operating system, find out the path to that file, which you can find just by going up here, whatever directory the file is in, copy that, put it inside your Python file. And now we're going to add something to this, which is the name of the file. So Chrome driver.exe. So the idea here is that we need the path to the file so that we can run it. So make sure you get that correct and you put it in a location. You can leave it in downloads if you want, but typically I don't just because you accidentally delete things from downloads. So anyways, yes. All right. So now that we have that, we're actually set up and we're pretty much ready to start kind of working with Selenium and opening some things up. Won't do anything too crazy here. I'm not going to explain a ton because that's going to be mostly for the next video. But what the first thing we need to do if we want to actually open up a web page and start working with it is change our import to say from Selenium import web driver. Now, the web driver is what is driving these actions. It's what, uh, you know, links up with the browser. It's what's able to perform the actions. So we need to pick what browser, first of all, we're going to be using for Selenium. So the first thing we're going to do is say driver. And this is always the first step is equal to, in this case, web driver dot. And then you're going to pick the browser you want to use. So in this case, I've been recommending Chrome. So we're going to use Chrome with a capital C. But notice you can use Firefox, IE, Phantom, Chrome, Remote, I don't know, all these other uh, browsers you can use as well. So webdriver.chrome. Now what we're going to do in here is simply put the path variable that we defined above. So we're going to say the web browser we want to use is Chrome and the web driver that is for this browser is located at path, which is here on our computer, right? So we do that. There we go, webdriver.chrome path. And now what we can actually do is open up a website. So using driver, we can say driver.get and put in the name of any website you want. I'm just going to use my website um, just to make sure I'm not doing anything illegal throughout these tutorials by running bots on websites. Uh, we'll go with techwithtim.net. So driver.get techwithtim.net. We're going to run that and notice, wait a second, data. And then it loads up the web page like this and it says Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So that is how this works. That's how we open up a web page. That's how we get to what we want to do. And I'll show you really quickly how we can interact with the web page uh, just to give you a little bit more in this first video. But that's the idea. That's the setup. Get the driver downloaded, get the pip package installed, set up the path for that driver, 
set up this driver and then we can access any web page we want. So first thing, if we want to close a web page, what we can do is use driver.close. What this will do is close the current tab. So that may not close the entire browser window. It will just close the tab. But if you want to quit the entire browser, then you can do quit. Now, obviously, if you only have one tab, if you run close, it closes that tab, it will close the browser. But if you want to make sure you're closing the entire browser, you can run quit. So if I run this now, let me give it a second. You'll notice right as it gets to the website, it just goes ahead and quits because that's the next line right here. Now, if we wanted to do something different, like say we want to get the title of the web page, what we can do is say driver.title like that. So we can actually print this out and this will tell us the title. So what will pop up uh, if I can find that here. So see this tech with Tim, Python and Java programming tutorials. That's what it says. That's it's going to show us that in the Python console. So if I run this, we look give it a second, it's going to quit. And then it shows us the title tech with Tim Python and Java programming tutorials tech with Tim.net. So we can go ahead and you know, mess with that mess with the title, we can check if things are in the title, uh, we can interact with specific elements. And I'm going to show you more and more but I think I'm going to leave it here because we are hitting about the 11 minute mark. In the next video we will actually interact with this page, I'll show you how we can type stuff in how we can hit enter on the page how we can navigate to different pages, all that fun stuff and even more stuff to come in the future. Leave a comment if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video, of course, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in another YouTube video.